वेरी गुड इवनिंग वी डिस्कसिंग एस एस एल सी स्टेट लेवल प्रिपरेटरी सैंस मॉडल की आंसर्स वी आलरे डिस्कस्ड फिजिस् पार्ट ना वी आर गोयिंग टू डिस्कस अबउट केमिस्ट्री पार्ट इन केमिस्ट्री पार्ट क्वेश्चन मेन नंबर सिक्स दे गि वन थ्री मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ईच कैरिंग वन मार्क थर्ड फोर्टींथ वन सिलवर क्लोराइड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ सनलाइट गिवज अ सिलवर एंड क्लोरीन द टाइप ऑफ अ Uh, chemical reaction they asked here it's a combination reaction displacement reaction decomposition reaction or double displacement okay it's a what uh, decomposition reaction combination uh, two or more reactants gives a one product that's called as a combination okay high reactive element uh, displaces a low reactive element that's called as a displacement then double displacement or double decomposition it refers as a what a two compounds exchange their ions and gives a two new products that's called as a double displacement or double decomposition that's why our answer a single reactant gives a two and two or more products it's called as a decomposition reaction question number 15 the total number of a covalent bonds present in the nitrogen molecule okay it's answer option d 3 because in hydrogen in between hydrogen what a single bond is there in between oxygen double bond is there and in between nitrogen triple bond is there all they formed what molecule hydrogen molecule oxygen molecule then nitrogen molecule okay that's why three covalent bonds are there that's why option d right answer then next question question number 16 iron sulfate reacting with x and it gives iron and uh, uh, what x elements uh, salt then in this chemical equation x represents x represents which one zinc because compared to iron the high what uh, compared to iron whatever the high reactive element is there that on, uh, that only can displace uh, Uh, iron sulfate from iron that's why with the help of copper also copper is less reactive than iron uh, then lead is also less reactive than iron and uh, what uh, mercury it's also less reactive than iron that's why uh, they not displaces uh, iron that's why zinc only reacts with iron sulfate and what it gives it gives a zinc sulfate what it gives a it gives zinc sulfate okay with the displacing iron okay next one question main number 7 answer the following questions each carrying one mark okay total three questions are there for three marks 17th one name the sodium compound that is used for softening of hard water that's a sodium carbonate that's what sodium carbonate na2 co3 okay it's also called as a washing soda then 18th one question which ion produce which ions produce a white precipitate when a solution of a sodium sulfate solution of a sodium sulfate in a2so4 uh, added to the solution of barium chloride okay they gives a what uh, they gives a sodium chloride uh, it will not uh, uh, gives any precipitate the another product is there whatever it's a what barium sulfate uh, that barium ions and sulfate ions produce precipitates next one question number 19 how is the concentration of hydroxide ions affected when excess base is dissolved in the solution of potassium hydroxide if excess base is dissolved in a uh, what a, a solution then what happens means the hydroxide ions concentration increases the hydroxide ions concentration increases see answer see then the concentration of hydrogen ions sorry hydroxide ions increases question number 19 its answer okay now we are going to discuss question main number 8 answer the following questions each carrying two marks okay total three questions are there for six marks then see define the following with respect to the carbon compounds structural isomers hydrogenation structural isomers and hydrogenation then see 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमर्स कार्बन कंपाउंड्स विद आइडेंटिकल मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स दूज आर कॉल्ड एज अ स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमर्स देन सेकेंड वन हाइड्रोजिनेशन ओके इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एडिशन रिएक्शन हाइड्रोजिनेशन द एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन टू अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स टू मेक इट सैचुरेटेड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैटलिस्ट लाइक अनिकल आर पैलाडियम इट्स कॉल्ड एज अ हाइड्रोजिनेशन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन for this question they asked another one r type question what are the functional groups name the functional groups present in propenal and propenol propenal and propenol see then the functional group uh, hetero atoms the hetero atoms are group of uh, hetero atoms that uh, confer specific properties to what specific properties to the carbon at what compound it's called as a functional group then uh, propenal it's aldehyde cho propenol it's alcohol oh okay then uh, prop uh, what 21st question what they ask means uh, what properties of ionic compounds they asked properties of ionic compounds then ionic compounds are solids and uh, somewhat hard ionic compounds have a high melting and boiling points they are soluble in water and insoluble in uh, solvents such as uh, kerosene petrol etc ionic compounds are good conductors of electricity okay uh, then uh, in 21st question only uh, they asked another one question for two marks that's r type question physical properties of a metals metals are malleable and ductile metals can be drawn into thin sheets metals are ductile i told for you metals can be drawn into thin wires metals are sonorous metal produce a ringing sound metals are good conductor of heat and electricity these are physical properties of a metals then 22nd question then 22nd question see which solution will be formed what a formed after the electrolysis of brine solution how do you determine the nature of the solution by using a red and blue litmus papers then answer for 22nd question c sodium hydroxide okay when we uh, make a electrolysis of a brine solution we get a product as a product sodium hydroxide then uh, sodium hydroxide changes red litmus paper into blue okay blue litmus paper it doesn't change any color then sodium hydroxide does not change the color of the blue litmus paper question main number 9 answer the following questions each carrying 3 marks total 3 questions are there for 9 marks okay 23rd a and b question uh, they asked here what means balance uh, the chemical reaction so sodium hydroxide naoh reacting with uh, sulfuric acid h2so4 uh, what it gives means it gives a sodium sulfate na2so4 plus h2o then uh, to balance this chemical equation here hydrogen 1 and here 2 3 are there but uh, in this side okay uh, only uh, two hydrogen atoms are there to balance this reaction here na2 is there that's why i took here 2 in a uh, right hand, left hand right side sodium sulfate sodium uh, what two is there that's why in uh, right side uh, sorry uh, left hand side i took a uh, two uh, in front of a uh, sodium hydroxide and uh, because of this two here hydrogen also turned into two two plus two four and uh, here only two hydrogens are there that's why here also i took two then uh, remaining all things are sulfate one sulfate one sodium 2 sodium 2 hydrogen 4 hydrogen 4 oxygen 2 two ones are two oxygen 2 remaining all things are balanced then uh, they given uh, one reaction there uh, uh, which one means zinc oxide uh, zinc oxide reacts with the coke and it gives a zinc and carbon monoxide then based on that reaction uh, which is oxidized and which is reduced they asked based on the uh, what any any reaction on the basis of reactants only we can able to uh, answer which is a what uh, oxidized and which is a reduced based on that here uh, uh, oxidized substance is carbon or coke because carbon turns into carbon monoxide and reduced substance is zinc oxide that's i don't know because it lose oxygen in where reactant side 
based on reactant only we are what uh, oxidized or uh, deoxidized are reduced we can able to tell then for this question they asked another one r type question uh, when a chemical reaction occurs uh, what are the changes will occur changes in color changes in state change in temperature then uh, what evolution of gas in all chemical reactions all things will not happen in what uh, in some chemical reactions change in color occurs in some chemical reaction what uh, state solid to liquid liquid to gas changes then uh, in some chemical reaction uh, uh, the temperature of the substance changes in some chemical reactions uh, gas uh, what evolved then for this question uh, they asked a b that's a r type question what's the question we have to see first uh, write the balanced that's finished calcium hydroxide reacts with the carbon dioxide it gives a calcium carbonate plus water write the balanced chemical equation for the following they asked here so it's a very simple uh, what uh, calcium hydroxide caoh twice it reacts with the carbon dioxide what it gives it gives a calcium carbonate with water okay the reaction itself is a balance that's why there is no need to balance lh is equal to already rhs question number 24 uh, they asked diagram this is a very important diagram because model question paper 3 model question paper 4 and in now preparatory they asked this same diagram what's that uh, draw the diagram of arrangement of apparatus used to show the action of uh, steam on a metal and uh, label the following parts okay a glass wool soaked in water and uh, delivery tube they asked uh, to denote these points they asked to denote these points then see the diagram okay uh, here glass wool uh, soaked in water this is the metal wire this is the delivery tube okay then inverted test tube uh, hydrogen bubbles are there uh, water collecting jar bunsen burner stand here also stand okay uh, once practice these all parts whichever they ask you can able to denote for two marks it's a fixed question okay out of two diagrams definitely one will come that what metal reacts with a uh, acid and it liberates a hydrogen that are this one then question number 25 uh, what's a question we have to see first question number 25 give the reason for following uh, first one plaster of Paris is stored in dry place second one solution of a glucose does not exhibit acidic properties and third one milk mixed with a baking soda takes a longer time to set as a curd three questions they asked for three marks then see the answer uh, it is exposed to moisture POP absorb water and form gypsum it turns into hard then second question glucose does not release a hydrogen ions in aqueous solution that's why it's not what not behaves like a acidic then baking soda is a base it neutralizes the lactic acid which is responsible for the formation of curd because of that uh, what uh, uh, elongation of time occurs or uh, what uh, the curd uh, slowly formed question main number 10 answer the following questions uh, it's a uh, three to four mark question no oh, sorry four mark question it's a single question they asked first what uh, a 26th a what they asked means they asked structure benzene and ethines sorry ethines uh, benzene c6 h6 six carbon atoms are arranged in hexagonal shape and for each carbon atom we arranged uh, one hydrogen and alternatively we kept a double bonds alternatively we kept a what double bonds here i think uh, slightly they made a mistake because whatever the hexagonal shape is there only alternatively we can able to add a bonds like this okay this is the benzene then ethane c ethane c2 h2 that's why uh, in between carbon triple bond is there and two hydrogens are shared okay uh, for two marks then b question how uh, one minute uh, b question what they asked uh, explain the mechanism of uh, cleaning of uh, cleaning action of soap soaps mechanism of cleaning action of soap they asked the dirt is oily in nature which does not dissolve in water the ionic end of the soap interacts with water while the other while the carbon chain interact with the oil 
द सोप मॉलिक्यूल दस फॉर्म्स अ स्ट्रक्चर कार्ड मिसल्स इन मिसल वन एंड ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल इज टूवर्ड्स द ऑयल ड्रॉपलेट विच वाइल द आयर्निक एंड फोकस आउटसाइड दिस फॉर्म्स एन एमोल्यूशन इन वाटर द सोप मिसल्स दस हेल्प्स इन पुलिंग आउट द डर्ट इन वाटर ओके अप टू ना वाट वी डिस्कस वी डिस्कस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टेट लेवल प्रिपरेटरी सैंस इंग्लिश मीडियम क्वेश्चन पेपर provisional key answers in next clip we are going to discuss about part c that's a biology okay these question papers are very helpful practice these question papers more and more four model question paper and this question preparatory question paper practice more and more okay 50 to 60 marks definitely release from these five question papers so be well prepared share to your friends and other groups also thank you thank you so much